section 14a, question number 2, on page 346. We are asked to, again, evaluate these limits. So, we're going to evaluate the limit of 5 as x approaches 0. Well, since 5 is a constant, the y value, which is what we're trying to find when we find limits, uh, that the, the function occurs, or sorry, approaches, is 5 no matter uh, where x is approaching. So whether x approaches um, 0 or some other value, um, since the function is 5, the limit is itself 5. That's the y value that the graph approaches as x approaches 0. For question b, we want to find the limit of 7 as h approaches 2. And again, because 7 is just a horizontal line, a function at y equals 7, the limit of that function is 7 as h approaches 2. So no matter what value h approaches, the y value that the function approaches is going to be 7 because the function is 7. It's a horizontal line that uh, is at y equals 7. And the limit of just some generic constant c as x approaches 0, again, will be c because when we find limits, we're finding the y value which the function is approaching as x approaches some value. And if that y value is a horizontal line, um, in this case just some generic value of c, no matter what value x approaches, the function is going to be at that value of c, which in this case is that horizontal line. 